Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to take a look at the widget in jQuery UI, which is the accordion. Now, the accordion will open and shut a particular um, element depending on obviously where you place them. Um, we're going to look at a few options that we can um, used to change the functionality of this however this is more or less how it works so you have a header area which you click to activate a, a main content area now by default we have a few problems with the accordion uh, that you might like to change so we're gonna have uh, things like resizing issues uh, and we might like to change the icons as well uh, as well as a couple of on mouse um, over events or events uh, that we do that happen with our mouse so for example at the moment I have this set to click so when I click on um, an element or a header it shows the content uh, but we might want to say roll over and show content so we're only going to be looking at a few options and we're not going to be taking a look at events in this case uh, but again this will just get you started with the overall concept so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, actually create this area that we're going to put the uh, content into. So the first thing we need to do is create an overall div and we need to give this a name and I'm going to call this uh, let's just say content and inside here we're going to need to supply a few things the first of which is a header and we're going to create a link inside of this header and the location of the links just hash because it won't actually go to a different page uh, and inside of this link it will be the title so for example about me now directly underneath this header we're going to create an area with the content that is displayed once this header is clicked so oops, sorry that should be div um, the div here is going to be um, the area that uh, well whatever's displayed so inside of here let's just say a little about me okay so now let's take a look at that you can see that that's just a header here with a link uh, and then some content so not really much at the moment uh, we can go ahead and create two more of these just to get a good demonstration of how this works so we create another link portfolio for example with a link uh, as a hash and inside here so this is my portfolio and then uh, we don't really need an ID for that. And then the last one, header three, and a link inside of here again. So it's interesting that these could be perhaps generated from uh, a database table. Um, as long as you keep this structure, it doesn't matter. Once you apply the accordion uh, widget to this, it will actually pick up on all of these values. So these values can come from absolutely anywhere. They don't need to be static. Uh, so it could be, for example, a settings menu in a, in a user interface. Uh, there's a wide variety of options. Um, so now the last one I'm just going to do is contact. And then inside a div with no ID my contact contact details okay so let's go ahead and preview that make sure everything's there yep we've got the three headers and the three content areas now we need to go ahead and actually set up the accordion now this is extremely simple in its purest form however we're going to look at three different options we can customize this with so the first thing that we need is obviously jQuery then the jQuery UI.js file and we have UI.js which we're going to be working in here to create the accordion and then change some of the options we also need this uh, style sheet here which is found with a package when you download jQuery UI uh, I do have a video on um, downloading that so we need to reference this content div and turn it into an accordion so it's extremely extremely simple we just go over to UI and we use a selector to select the content area and then we just write accordion so we're applying this widget to this content here and what this will automatically do is pick up on all of the um, properties or the, the elements we've given it so the headers and the content and when we refresh that's turned that into an accordion so it's an extremely easy way to implement this into your website now the one thing that we have at the moment is we have um, 
a varying space inside of our uh, content area and this has this has only taken up as much space as it needs so for example inside a little about me if we were to say uh, I am a web developer uh, a break after that you can see that um, this is now smaller than this area here uh, well, it's not, but if you were to have, say, more content down here, uh, you would have uh, a lot more. So, for example, we could break down just again uh, and more. So, when we refresh, we've got a larger area here than we do have uh, with the others. So, what in actual fact, we don't. No, anyway, okay. So, we'll go from the basis that we want all of these to be the same size down the page and we want to keep a, uh, a, a maximum size to it.